So if they fly away, it means they're probably not interested in feeding. Which will attract them to the window because that's where all the light is. But some of them are also stupid and just fly away regardlessly. So the Apicopaya Hinesi from Japan. I've had a lot of success with breeding these. I've, um, I've bred over a hundred of these. So it's been insane. Insanely successful. And I'm also happy with that because for a long time my Apicopaya moths have been a dream species of mine. So this is me fulfilling my dream. Some guys want a Ferrari. Some guys want a hot women. Some guys want to be a millionaire. Me, I really just want to breed the most interesting moths in the world. Luckily for me there are um, 250,000 species of uh, butterflies and moths on this planet. So I can achieve part of my dream every week. And this is where it's starting to be chaotic. But um, that's all right. Now what I'm feeding them here is actually unnatural because in nature they are attracted to flowers. Uh, that means they are not fructivorous. Fructivorous is basically, it means it's a fruit feeder. Um, some types of butterflies exclusively drink fruit juice. For example, morpho butterflies, you will never see them on a flower. They will also attract it to rotten fruit. So, in the wild, these guys would never drink any sort of fruit juice. But um, in the end, it doesn't really matter. Because sugar water is sugar water. If, uh, irregardless if it's nectar or if it's coming from a fruit. It really doesn't matter that much. Not to the moth, anyway. Hmm. So this, this is probably a quarter of them. I have like 75 cocoons still waiting to hatch. So this is what I have to do every day. Um, it gets a little bit chaotic. The males of this species seem to be quite short lived. So I'm only live a few days. Uh, but that's okay because one female can lay hundreds of eggs and he only has to pair once. And the females can live longer, they're also bigger, you have to be nice to them. For example, here we have a small male, compare that to the size of this female here. And I thought it would be a nice, relaxing video for all of you to see what I'm um, here. Oh, oops. Here we have one that's nearly dead for some reason. Doesn't have much strength left in his body. It's still still moving so I may try to feed him see if that uh, replenishes his energy maybe it will maybe not I don't have much hope for this one I think I'm gonna put that one on the spreading board pretty soon and if you notice some of them are flying away it's okay if they're flying away it really means they're not interested in feeding could be because they're just not hungry or whatever You know, when they hatch from their cocoons, they don't, they don't need food for a few days, so the older ones are probably the most hungry. Yeah, that's uh, just a short video of what I'm doing here behind the scenes. Some of the daily chores. If you're interested in breeding information about this piece as well, this is no, not exactly the video for you. Because I already have a ton of videos where I'm rearing them, talking about them and this and that. So this is just a feeding video. Huh. Come here guys. If my s voice sounds weird, it's because I'm chewing gum. So This one seems to have a uh, weird dislocated wing. It's not supposed to be like this, but... She's a female, even though she's, she's deformed, she still may lay some eggs.
Thanks for watching everybody. I'm going to feed some other mouths now.